Hey everyone, this is the Q&A video um, with all the questions you guys asked me for the giveaway video that I did. Um, so I have my laptop right over here, um, so I'm just going to read the questions and do my best to answer them uh, as we go along. So the first question, uh, this was asked by Beauty 28 uh, do you want any more piercings? If so, what? Currently, no, there aren't any more piercings that I want. I have my nose pierced, my labret. I have, um, oh, I don't even have two studs in. I have two here and then um, my cartilage up here and two on the side. Um, if I were to get any more, the only thing I can really imagine getting is just more in my ear. Um, there's nothing else I have a desire to get pierced. Um, I'm not... A, I don't dislike belly button piercings, but that's just not for me. Um, definitely not my tongue. I think that's like one of the... It's pretty up there with one of the worst piercings you can get. The other ones are the X-rated ones. Um, so yeah, there's really nothing else. You know, maybe more in my ear, but I don't really have that strong desire right now. But, you know, that could change. If you had the chance to go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? It is a toss-up between any kind of really tropical island. <laughs> no tropical island specific. Um, I just really like warm weather, sunny beaches. Um, there's something about those pictures of those like crystal clear blue water that I just I'd like to go to one of those places someday. Um, and then the other place in my toss-up, um, honestly, it's, uh, England. Just because I've made so many, like, YouTube friends that happen to live in England. And just because there's so many people there, uh, I, you know, how fun would it be to go there someday and try and meet up with everybody, even though they don't all live in the same area. Um, road trip. What is your ultimate favorite makeup product? I'd have to go with eyeliner. That's probably the one thing that if I could only pick like one makeup thing forever, I'd go with eyeliner because I think, you know, if I have no makeup on and I really don't have time to put makeup on but I know I want to go somewhere, and I want to do something to my face, I will slap on some eyeliner because it's good, obviously, for under the eye. You can line the top lid and that, you know, you can do just that to complete it and you're good. So I have a lot of eyeliner. So, yeah. What's your favorite food? Pretty much anything with marinara sauce. I really like pizza. I really like spaghetti with marinara. I like um, dipping things in marinara. So there's plenty of times where my husband will say, what do you want for dinner? And I'll say, mm, anything with marinara sauce. <laughs> so that is the Italian in me, I guess. I don't know. If you could choose one place to live, where would that be? I'd have to say California, because I live in California, but I am originally from Massachusetts, and so it was always in my plan to move to California, and I did about three and a half years ago, so that was the one place that, you know, I was like, get me out of Massachusetts, I want to move to there. There are plenty of other places I would love to uh, go visit, like I said, any like really nice tropical island, England, um, Hawaii. That's I don't know if that's considered a tropical island, but it is. Uh, it is a nice island. Um, Australia, t Australia too. Um, the Great Barrier Reef. I mean, that just looks so gorgeous. Why wouldn't you want to go and at least visit there sometime? So. Who is your biggest inspiration? That is really a tough question for me because honestly, like I'm not sure there that I have one. For me, I get inspired 
do things because of myself, I guess. Like, I, I tend to reflect upon myself and think, like, am I happy right now? Am I happy with who I am, with what I'm currently doing with my life? And if not, okay, what is it I want to do to make myself happy, to improve myself, to feel good, to feel like, you know, I'm going somewhere, um, and then do whatever that is to make me move forward in that direction. So, like, I've never, I don't think I've ever really been able to say, like, so-and-so is my inspiration. I'm sure uh, there are lots of people that have uh, influenced me, whether I realized it or not, but as far as inspiration goes, like, I just, it's myself, like, I inspire myself, like, you know what, what are you doing? Like, you need to be doing more, do this, and so, and so I do, and that's, uh, kind of how I live my life. If you could have one YouTube guru be your personal makeup artist for a special occasion, who would it be? Who would it be? Um, I'm gonna have to say Cora from Vintage Rataki. She was one of the first um, makeup gurus I came across on YouTube because of the really bold looks that she does. It's, she has a very similar style to me. Lots of bright, bold eyeshadow looks. Um, even uh, fashion-wise, she's got that edgy style. That's what I like. That's the, the style I'm more attracted to. Um, so I know I could trust her to do a fantastic job on my makeup and also keep it me, you know, it wouldn't be a look that I wouldn't do on myself, um, it would totally be my style, so, I mean, she's amazing, if you don't know who she is, Vintage or Tacky, go check her out. Which celebrities inspire you the most in terms of makeup, hair, fashion, etc.? Again, I, I mean, I'm not really sure, like I guess I can say Kat Von D because I really like her style, um, I like the way she dresses, I like her makeup, um, I like, you know, her hair, I just, we'll say Kat Von D, I don't know, um, anybody with really that edgy kind of style, that's, that's more of what I'm attracted to, so, but I guess she kind of has that overall look of the things I like. So we'll go with Kat Von D. What is your signature makeup look? Why don't you guys tell me what is my signature? Um, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. Anything bright and bold really is, is pretty typical for me. Um, there are plenty of times where I'll do like the kind of black and gray smoky eye kind of deal um, because I know my husband really likes it so obviously if I have the day off with him I'll go for that um, but I really you know tend to just like to do non-natural looks <laughs> as far as eyeshadow goes you know you do your makeup so people notice, like, I don't know, I do makeup so people notice. That's just my style. What are some words to describe your taste in fashion? Um, I feel weird saying it, but I am more of the edgy style, more of the punk style. Um, I like shopping at sourpussclothing.com, Hot Topic. I really like the stuff from Blackheart. Um, yeah, so just that kind of alt alternative look, I don't know what to call it, you know, I play roller derby, so a lot of fishnets in my life, a lot of uh, booty shorts and, you know, skirts and things, um, yeah, so <laughs> nothing you would find in Abercrombie or American Eagle, you know, that's not the typical me, that's not the clothes that, you know, I desire. Nothing wrong with those clothes, that's just, it's not my style. 
What are your favorite TV shows? Um, well, I actually, I don't have cable, but, you know, I have had cable in the past, but currently, currently I don't, but I do watch Netflix, and I just finished watching 90210, the, the remake of it, um, it turned out to be a pretty good show, at least, I liked it at least, um, it's no real standard for judgment, but, um, when I was a kid, I loved Punky Brewster. That was my all-time favorite. I loved Full House, um, Boy Meets World. Like those were some really classic shows that I grew up on. Um, I had a thing for CSI, House, um, Medium, um, The Ghost Whisperer. So. Uh, Orange is the New Black on Netflix. I can't wait for them to come out with the next season of it. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of an insight to the shows I like. I'm so sorry, I forgot to tell you who's been asking all these questions. But the last few questions, well, uh, since I stopped, uh, starting with if you could choose one place to live, where would it be? That was asked by... I can't pronounce your name, Eucalyptus, sorry, um, then Simply Christine, and then Big Del Delman, Delman, I'm really sorry, maybe I shouldn't be telling people, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be trying to tell you who's asking what, uh, okay, and the next question, asked by Beauty by Abby, uh, what age did you start wearing makeup? What a good question. I know I started kind of like playing around with makeup when I was in the third grade. Um, you know, my mom's eyeshadow, uh, really. It was just eyeshadow that I played with. Um, I, honestly, I can't remember what age I really started like wearing makeup actively. It was at least eighth grade, maybe seventh grade, maybe sixth grade. I really don't remember. Um, I definitely actively wore it, you know, throughout high school and college, and it honestly wasn't until, how old was I? It wasn't even until like a few years ago that I started like kind of learning more about makeup thanks to the power of YouTube, finding um, great makeup artists like uh, Cora from Vintage Shirt Hacky and Sonia from S.E. Castaneda and uh, Candy Johnson, you know, those people. So that was really like two years ago when I really started like going, oh, and learning things. <laughs> yes. Okay. Why did you want to start wearing makeup? I, you know, it, obviously as a kid, like, you see your mom doing it, and you just want to do it, and it was something fun to do. Um, it, you know, it just makes you feel more, this, obviously, this doesn't, this doesn't go for everybody, but it can make you feel more confident, um, about yourself, you know, just knowing, like, hey, okay, I look good, or, you know, going out the house, not looking like a hot mess, um, and that it just got to the point where I would just, it's fun, like I have fun putting on makeup, I have fun trying new things and creating new looks and sharing my ideas with you guys and just basic stuff, um, I just enjoy it and I, I don't do it for the compliments but I get compliments, you know, daily, um, from people at work or, you know, even strangers when I'm at stores. Um, so I enjoy it. I have fun with it. Who inspired you to start making making beauty related YouTube videos? <sighs> well, I started actively watching YouTube when I discovered Jenna Marbles and I just went on like a uh, marathon of watching all of her videos catching up and then that's kind of when I found um, I think one of the first beauty gurus I found was Sonia from SC Castaneda 
and then like right after that was Cora from Vintage or Tacky and watching their videos and watching Jenna Marbles and I was just like I can do that you know um, and obviously I'm still very amateur at it and I just do it for fun and as time goes on I, I think I've gotten a little better at it I've gotten more comfortable um, being in front of the camera I'm getting you know, playing around so with like how I'm editing things and what style I like to do or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much a combination of Jenna Marbles, Sonia, and Cora um, that made me go, I could do that. You know, why not? So it's just a, you know, I have fun with it really. So, what is one makeup product that you wouldn't be able to leave the house without? Okay. Does chapstick count? Because if anything, I need to have that. <laughs> I can't stand when I have really dry lips. It drives me bonkers. But if chapstick doesn't count, then I'm going to go with, like I said before, eyeliner. Like, I love eyeliner. I think, if anything, I can put some eyeliner on and it'll make me feel like a million times better than no makeup. So, and don't get me wrong, there are plenty of days where I'm just like, F it, and I go out with no makeup. Um, but if I want something, eyeliner. Beauty by Abby, you did ask a lot of questions. <laughs> That's okay, don't worry. Uh, what are your favorite eyeshadow colors and lip colors to wear on a day-to-day -day basis? My favorite eyeshadow colors. See, I don't think I can pick a day-to-day -day thing because I tend to, you know, do something different every day. Um, even something like this. Yeah, it's getting dark. I should turn on the light. Hold on. Okay. Hope that helped a little bit. I really, I don't know if I have an answer to that. I always match my eyeshadow to what I'm wearing or to really like contrast what I'm wearing I guess um, if I want like my eyeshadow to really stand out against the colors I'm wearing you know I do that kind of stuff um, there are plenty of um, more wearable lip colors that if anything I can be like okay let me just grab that so I at least have uh, some color on my lips so that, you know, they don't look dead. Uh, let me go grab one of those for you. Like this one. This one's pretty good. Um, this is Uber Cool by, I think it's Australis. Here is another one. This is um, blah, 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 Barely Blush from Seventeen. So this is definitely like a wearable, you know, everyday kind of color. Um, so if anything, you know, like I know I can throw this on and it'll work with whatever makeup look I am going for. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Um, like I said before, any kind of tropical island. I love uh, hot weather and some beaches and just that crystal clear blue water would be fantastic. Or I would go to England so I could meet some of my fantastic uh, friends that I've made here on YouTube. What is an accomplishment you are most proud of? I don't really know, but I guess the first thing that comes to mind is the fact that I moved to California. I moved 3,000 miles, okay, because I lived on the East Coast, moved to the West Coast. So it, it's, it's not an easy thing to do to um, save up, that's a lot of money to move, um, to find a place to live without um, being to just go and look at apartments, um, being able to get a new job, it, it's, it's a lot. So, I mean, that was something, like, that was a big accomplishment to have that desire and dream to move and move so far away and to do it so what is the most expensive makeup product that you have ever purchased what a good question I want to say 
and I'm pretty sure I'm right. It is my Naked Skin Foundation from Urban Decay. Yeah, that foundation, it's like 30 something dollars. And that was the first time I had ever spent 30, yeah, oh gosh, let's see. Prior to that, the most I'd ever spent on foundation was $12. And $12, I was like, $12? Um, but I splurged and got it. <laughs> so, yeah. The next thing that I had is my was my first Urban Decay palette, the Deluxe Shadow Box. But somebody actually bought that for me as a gift. But that was like originally $36. Um, but yeah, I... I Makeup's expensive, and there are plenty of good drugstore things out there right now. You do not have to have all these high-quality stuff. Please don't think you have to, because you really don't. <laughs> the uh, next question comes from Big Dowlin. Sorry for mispronouncing that. Uh, if you could receive an endless supply of makeup from one brand, which brand would it be? I think Urban Decay. Um, I just, I really like their stuff. I like you know, they obviously stand out against other companies for, like, their packaging, and they're just really, like, bright and out there and edgy, and so, and there's one, I think it was the first, like, uh, high-end makeup brand I had tried out, so, Urban Decay, I just love all the colors, you know, they have uh, all sorts of different color eyeliners, and you know how much I love eyeliners, um, I know other products do, other brands do, but theirs are, like, really bright and bold and out there, so. Urban Decay. Uh, the next question is from Jenny Ferreira. What is your favorite beauty product and the worst? My favorite beauty product. How many times can I talk about eyeliner? I'm sorry, I really, um, I really like eyeliner, so I have a lot do you want to see how much I have? Hold on. Okay. This is all <laughs> filled with eyeliner. Um, all different colors and brands and things. Like, I, I love eyeliner. So. Sorry. Um, and the worst, worst beauty product. Something I really didn't like, which got so much hype, and it just really didn't work for me, are the Revlon Lip Butters. Those things jacked up my lips so bad, it just dried them out, made them like, pfft. I'm sorry, I was like, oh. And I even like put it away for a few months and then went to try it again. No, that is the worst product I have ever, ever tried, so it sucks because I got so much hype, and I know a lot of people like it, and good for them, but for me, oh, sorry. <laughs> the next question is from Lauren Tossi, I think it's pronounced. What is your favorite makeup product? <laughs> Eyeliner. Uh, the next question is from Marina Petru. Hi, Marina. Uh, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the mouse. I just have a thing for little mice. I love them. I had so many pet mice growing up. Um, they're just so cute and small and I don't know. Next um, would be dogs. I love dogs. Who doesn't love dogs? I love dogs. Someday I'll have a dog. I had dogs growing up, but currently I don't have any. Someday I'll have one again. Okay. This video is clearly too long, so I'm going to have to uh, break it up. So before I end this one, though, there is one question I forgot to include. It is from Vicious Fury, and the question is, what is your dream job? I feel like my dream job is, well, I think I'm just finally officially discovering it. And if I had to be truly honest, I'd say my dream job 
which some people are going to be very hypocritical and say it's not a real job. <laughs> but my dream uh, job thing I could make a living off of if I were to ever be so lucky is to be a successful YouTuber. One of the people I watch on a daily basis, one of the channels, is It's Judy Time, um, and it's Judy's Life, and I mean, <sighs> slight jealousy, because all, her, her source of income is pretty much from her YouTube channels. She does the daily vlogs on It's Judy's Life. And then she has her beauty channel, It's Judy, It's Judy Time. She's able to just be at home with her family. You know, she has a daughter. Um, she's pregnant with twins. Like, she just has all these opportunities to really have a, uh, you know, do the things she wants to do and have a, have a fun life, a, f a full life, you know. She has all these opportunities to travel or work stuff related to YouTube and to her just being like a beauty guru, being, you know, good at makeup stuff. Um, and I just watch her channel because I'm just like, you know, what, what, to be so lucky to be that successful, and I shouldn't say lucky because she's good at what she does, you know, she's been, she's become quite uh, quite a, a good vlogger. She's really good at the whole makeup thing. She has her own um, eyeshadow palette out right now. So if I really had to be honest with myself and <laughs> you guys, that would be like the most amazing job just to be able to like do this on a regular basis. Yeah, just being honest. But that would be in a perfect world. And this world is not perfect. So I think the next thing I'd really like to focus on is still related, it, you know, as far as makeup goes. Like, I would love to steer my career in that direction and do makeup. And I know, like, I have zero practice on other people, and I really need to start doing that, just inviting a friend over uh, to lend me their face. Um... I think that is one of the things I'm going to focus on in 2014. Um, I have high hopes of going to IMATS LA in January, so I'm hoping to go to that and have, you know, just um, be exposed to a lot of things in the, you know, cosmetic field and um, resources and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, I think... This is the stuff I have fun with, so if anything, if I could do that, even if it's just baby steps, you know, like work in a Sephora, oh my gosh, if I could work in a Sephora and just be in that environment, I'd be really happy because I'm really not feeling what I'm currently doing, unfortunately, so I'm just trying to figure out how to move forward and make those connections and you know, figure things out. I'm really good at these long answers. Anyway, I'm going to end this part of the video here. Um, stay tuned for part two. Thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, bye.